Hi, everyone. It's Arthur here at Arthur Ease Your Mind on YouTube and ArthurEaseYourMind.com. And today we're going for round two. It's Linda Grendel, the Comanche goddess. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so you were busy this weekend. Oh, my God. Well, this whole Crazy week. Crazy busy. Crazy busy. How was the book signing? It was so much fun. And the first client I had was the one I wrote about in the very beginning, whose mother had died in the plane accident. Oh, wow. And she whispered in my ear, tell her I can't find my right foot. Right. I and she that. said, Linda, I'm the one that, uh, you know, had the mother that. And I said, oh, my God. And she was actually wearing a necklace, I guess, they found in the wreck. Wow. They were able to clean it up, but she was wearing that. It was very, her mom was so cool. But she died with other people, professionals, in a plane crash. Mm -hmm. So it was cool. So lots of your book is going like just got the shelves around the world, isn't it? I don't know. Yes, yeah, going around the world with support Japan. Yeah. And um, Australia. Uh, David Johnson tried to get my copy and it was sold out in Australia. So but the United States is my my biggest customer. The international best selling author, Lyndon. The G. That's great. And this week you're you're doing the audio. This today. As soon as I leave you, I have to go. I'll probably work till late tonight. Oh, I know what that's like. Yeah. Oh, you do? I don't I've never done an audio. Well, before. you know, do my guided meditations. Oh, and okay. I go to a studio for those, so okay. Yeah. You know, that makes that sense. Happens. So we've got lots of questions. You got okay, good. Videos. I got them here. So why don't we just like get in here? There you go. Thank you. The first one was from Butterfly06830. I wonder if she related to Butterfly McQueen. Um, how healthy is Jack Smith? The pictures show a very emaciated man. He looks like he weighs 110 pounds wet. I'm worried about him. Thank you. Cheers. I don't feel anything wrong with him, but you know he's a, like a triathlon racer. He's very physical. Right. And he did get hurt in some accident. Remember, he came Bicycle. back yeah. But I don't feel anything wrong. How about you? No, I'm feeling fine. I just feel like, you know, he's at a, a fever pace and he just keeps on going. He's like the Energizer Bunny. Yeah. Doesn't exactly. stop. And exactly. the thing is, I swear he like stops time to figure out everything that he's doing. He just and, you know, he's pissed, too. Oh, God, yeah. He's very pissed. But he's anticipated every move they make. And then some. Yeah. So able to yeah. come back so fast with everything. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, he's, I feel he's okay. I don't want you guys to worry. I don't get a sense of anything wrong right now. Can I just. Yes, so though. He's walking around because he didn't appreciate that guy threatening his family. Oh, I know that. I just also real quick want to say something you said on your show yesterday. For everyone just to calm down, I was telling a client the other day, you know, you're running around like Chicken Little. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And I'm saying, it's only an acorn. Would you just sit down and shut up? Well, the, my guys, like they did when I used to talk about Trump and I was vengeful. Mm -hmm. I hated him. He said, Linda, knock it off and tell everybody to get off the Trump train because it's not going to do any good at the end of the day. It puts you in a state of resistance. It doesn't right. hurt him. Right. And that's what I've been telling clients. And I just want, when you said that yesterday, I just wanted to tell everybody the same thing. It's just chill. Yeah. It's and I was just telling you earlier, I got this email that didn't want to be rude, <laughs> but <laughs> said that, you know, um, you said Beto work was going to win and you said uh, something else. Oh, Kavanaugh would be grabbed by his thing and let out. And you bet you need to be very careful about saying Trump will not win because the the polls. She went by the polls. The poll. I said hello. First of all, Obama's polls were terrible. Even uh, Mitt Romney was shocked how much he won by because he thought for sure he had it in the bag based on the polls. And then I said, uh, I said Trump was gonna was not gonna win in twenty twenty. You you not giving me any credit there. No cred. He's not going to win. And I said, 
Ben O'Rourke did, did win Texas. I'm going to tell you right now, it'll come out later. But that AG kept all those ballots. Correct. And bragged about it. Yeah. And Kavanaugh, mark my words, when we start getting the new administration and they start, you know, who's that White House, Senator White House? Yes. He's out for blood. And oh. he will come down to where the hell did you get that money, Kavanaugh? Right. And so he'll be grabbed by the shoulder and let out. But it's not all. But see, she didn't give me any, even the Fannie Willis thing on your show. I said, she'll get oh, yeah. in. The other guy's got to go. And, right. you know, a lot of people said she'll get in. But some people didn't realize that the other guy's got to go. Right. And he handed in the that day nation when she said, when the judge yeah. said, OK, you've got. You got it. He's to go. Here's the resignation. You know. Yeah. You don't piss funny off, by the way. And did you see Trump making fun of her? Her name is Fanny or Fanny. Yeah. Like a derriere, you know, Fanny. And I thought, okay, diaper, diaper Don. Diaper Don. Are you crapping your pants while you're talking about her? Oh, I know. And then he says there's going to be a bloodbath if he loses. But see how it is. We we have to breathe and allow. Mm-hmm. Because it doesn't help. It, it it doesn't surprise me. Mm-mm. Now my thing, where I'm stuck, and I don't know about you, author, but where I'm really stuck is I just don't see him. I mean, I hope he goes all the way through, and when he loses, we get to look at his face. But I almost feel like he's going to be gone. I don't necessarily mean dead, but some he may even know that he's going to lose and takes off, or I don't know, but something's coming up. I've been predicting that he's not. The wording that my guides have given me is he's not crossing the finish line. Okay. You know, whatever that means. You know, um, I mean, I've joked and said you have to be alive to be a president, but entertainment purposes only. But at the same time, I've never seen him crossing the finish line. And I've always seen that they have to bring somebody in at the last minute. And that's why yeah. I've always felt since Nikki Haley had delegates, they bring her in. Yeah. Time will tell. Yeah. Um, here's a good one. Roxanne M asks, will it be made public that Trump sold our most sensitive secrets to the enemy? Absolutely. Now, he may not be around, but I see Jack Smith in the Department of Justice actually announcing all the things that he did. They'd mm-hmm. like to take them down, but they're going to be able to prove beyond a reasonable doubt. Yeah, they want the records back, but they have hustled to change things. Because how they found out was they were getting moles in Europe dying, being killed. Yeah. And somebody said, we got a mole within the mole. And then they realized that Trump had kept all that information. Yeah. And it's mine. And you can't take it from me. Now, what about the immunity thing? I feel that the that the that SCOTUS will say, I know they'd love to say, oh yeah, he has immunity, but they're not going to. That's what I get. Well, if they were to say he has immunity, Biden can say put him in jail. <laughs> or where's what's to stop Biden from not letting him be president? That's what I'm saying. But no, I see what I originally saw was two people saying, well, maybe, but in the long run, I feel it's going to be nine to zero. And then there'll be some writings afterwards where Alito and Thomas are like, well, he should, we should look the other way sometimes because the president has to do what they have to do to be president. But he, they're not going to get him, let him have immunity. No. He can't no. do crimes. Yeah. So I also feel that I still feel that the Jan 6 goes before the election. You know, I mean, it, it, this trial happens before the election. Yeah, and it, but but it but like I told everybody, and you probably feel the same way. Even if he's found guilty on a couple of cases coming up, it still doesn't change his people. His people will vote for him no matter what. Oh, yeah, it but it's just not enough of them. Thank God. What I always say is, pray for the MAGA people, please. They're the upgrade. And you know who I've takes done. votes away from him is Robert Kennedy. Right. Yeah. Not necessarily Biden, it's Robert Kennedy. No. 
And you, you know, see the, that big picture of Biden with the Kennedy family at the White House? They all came to see him. Yeah, minus one. But the um, it's just getting to me where the news is trying to normalize everything that Trump is saying and doing. And it's not normal. It's not normal. Yeah, well, it pays It pays for commercials. It's all about money. Oh, I know. We so know. The, he, he brings in profit. And that's why they keep showing him. Now, fortunately, somebody like Rachel Maddow will say, you know what, I'm not going to show them speaking. Because it's mm-hmm. nothing but lies. He was just up in the crowd. I don't know if you saw the little blip on it. I got more votes than any other president ever. Not true. You mean any other president but Biden? Biden won something. I know. It, it's 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 the lies. It's it's they keep on saying the same thing, hoping that it sticks. You know, you you say the same lie over and over and over, but it's all going to blow up. And you know, I don't see a revolution like he's talking about. Yeah. You know, and other than that new movie called Civil War, but that's about it. There's a new movie with him? No, no. There's a new movie called Civil War about all the states succeeding and it becoming some dystopian. Like some guy goes, well, I'm an American. Yeah, but what kind of American? Yeah. Oh, did you hear Russia is opening a little inclined village for the people in America? If Trump doesn't win, they can come live in Russia. Yeah, with the guy in his tent from Canada with his family of 10. For real? No, didn't you hear about that? The guy in Canada, he, he got tired of seeing all the, the pride flags and he's got 10 kids. They moved to they moved to Moscow. And they get there. All their bank accounts are frozen. They don't speak the language. He can't get a job. They can't mm-hmm. come back. And what I always said, 10 kids, one out of one out of every 10. Wait, wait for that kid's podcast. Wow. So anyway, thank you for clearing that up and going through that. I really appreciate it. Um, I do have a new announcement when you're done. By make, the way. It, make it now. Make it now. Oh, Laura just sent me breaking major news. Um, the majority of Germany's ruling coalition supported a resolution in the European Parliament regarding the transfer of Taurus missiles to Ukraine. Yay. I'm telling you, I don't know why it's not on the regular news, but they're hitting Russia. They're oil refineries and everything. And a lot of Russians have joined the Ukraine yeah. to fight Putin. So you watch what happens. Okay, Especially after Navalny. Oh, they are so upset. Like you said, here Roe versus Way woke the sleeping giant. There, Navalny's death woke the sleeping, sleeping giant there. Right, right. So, and, you know, like you said, you got that one email about, you know, you said this, you said that. Yeah, and it wasn't right. So if I were you, I wouldn't say Trump will not win. There's just certain things I know, and Trump not winning, I know. And listen, I told you guys this in 2020, and I told Mm -hmm. you they'd be dancing in the streets. And Marianne at Revealing Light, she goes, she toasted a cup, a glass to me, She and as per Linda G, they're dancing in the streets. I love that interview you two did. That was wonderful. Oh, she's so wonderful. She's so cool. And I can't wait for her book to come out. Yeah, me too. The um, No, what I was going to say is, you know, I get emails now because I predicted that after April 1st, we're not going to be hearing much about Putin. And so I get these emails, TikTok, TikTok. It's like, you know, I'm only telling sometimes you. We, I listen, sometimes we get, I've had clients that I've read. This one girl, I love her. She came up to Sedona and everything I told her came true. But this one thing about a relationship. And she came to one of my events a few months back and she said, Linda, everything came true, but the one, it came true. And it's exactly as you said it. But time frames, I don't know Mm. why I do time frames. I never had the business of doing time frames because you know, and there's certain things they won't tell you. Like somebody can't say, when do you think my mom's going to cross? They don't really like that question. Or when am he, when is he going to propose to me? It's like, they're not going to spoil the surprise. Right. And it's that, free. No, you're going to get engaged. Is that not good enough for you? No, they got to know when. That's me too. When, when, when? 
when it's time. Okay. Uh, from Soulshine. Will we here in the United States adopt Bernie Sanders' 32-hour, four-day work week? Yeah, this is going to take a couple of years. But there will be fire department, hospitals, stuff like that. Can't do that. Right. You know, nurses right now, when I first started, you could get a full-time job, Monday through Friday, day shift, you know, working. Mm -hmm. But now most nurses are only four fifths. So they work four days out of the week, usually every other weekend. It's kind of nice because you have those other days off. But you're working 10, 10 hour days, right? But the, well, no, back then I used to work 16 hours. Now, like my girlfriends that are still working, they, they do, I think, 12 hour days, mm. three 12 hour days a week. But at least they give them that option. Right. Well, I think we're going to do it depending yeah. on what the industry is. Yeah. Yeah. Because people working from home end up working more anyway. Oh, I tell you. Because um, all the lunch breaks I have to take, I, I, I just can hardly keep up. You know what I'm saying? Wait a second. Don't, don't I remember having salami salami in the fridge? Yeah, let me go make myself a salami. <laughs> um, the only thing working from home is I can do my wash. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know. Yeah. Meditate on this candle while... Uh, well, I go commune with the spirits, you know, it's called Downey, but uh, <laughs> here's one um, from Jitterbug22. Hello, Mrs. I love her, Jitterbug. I do too. Hello, Miss Beautiful Jitterbug. and Bunny Arthur. Do you see any banks and insurance companies suing the thug, meaning Trump, for inflating incorrect data numbers for fraud? You both rock. Thanks for the clap. Thank you. I don't see it. You know, he's not, he doesn't have very much time left. There's so many people who come back and sue him, but it, it's almost like it's a done deal. He's going to lose big time. And then some, either he moves out of the country or he goes to sleep and doesn't wake up. Something's going to happen. But no, I don't see, I see even someone like Jack Smith revealing like they have a big, case in the Congress where they go through the evidence that they accumulated and have a committee that says these are the things that Trump did. Mm -hmm. Not that some people will believe it, but many... Yeah, but they're, they're going to let the public know. And they're going to show the frailty of how this person nearly corrupted the whole United States. The minute he walked in, the CIA said, we can't give your family um security clearances oh yeah they don't qualify he said give it to them anyway and jared l lied on his application to begin with yeah <sighs> it's nuts and they went in there she thought she was going to be the princess let me tell you she tried to do that that very soft talking kind of like that lady that did the post trump thing or the post uh, not trump oh, biden uh, in okay. Congress, I I'm sitting here at the kitchen table, and you know her father-in-law is the bigwig with with Jet Blue. They yeah. got more money than you know. They live like, but uh, uh, oh, I just have to. I was like, snap I, out of it. You know how she talks at home. She, F you. She looks like a stepford wife, and then when she says, "We hear you." Yeah, that, that was, I mean, hear you, and I just was like the Academy Award for the best nothing burger. <laughs> 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 she was no Marilyn Monroe, I can tell you that. No, and Marilyn did that deliberately, by the way, with that breathlessness. Oh she yeah, she knew it worked. She knew it worked. Oh yeah, it was very sexy. She was a smart cookie. This gal, this gal, it was weird. Well, no, it, it, I forget who said it, but it was filmed as if it was like one of those slasher films uh -huh. where the camera was coming in and out. So it's kind of yeah. cute. Um, okay. This kind of got me angry, but I'm what? just going to anyway. 
um, from Raven, whatever the last name is. Yeah. Is Garland intentionally assisting Trump and Putin's GOP by delaying these indictments? At this point, I wonder if he's on Putin's payroll. Love you both. Uh, they would love to interfere. They're starting, they're doing that AI and trying to start some stuff. I, there was something big that just happened. It was all Russia generated. But I'm feeling like they can't do like they did before. It's interesting. That's why Trump was so shocked he lost. He had Putin helping him. Yeah. Well, the thing is, also, they came out with an AI of uh, a rally with Trump. It was all AI generated. Like the crowds and everything. It, 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 it's like. Crazy. Somebody said about how wonderful Trump is and did uh, the picture where the the announcement was where he told his speaker, uh, don't uh, tell him it was the biggest crowd ever. But if you actually see the picture, it was about a quarter of the people in there. It showed the place packed. It was all AI. Yeah, 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 yeah. They they took out the tumbleweeds. I have a question from sure. Office. Uh, Peter Navarro filed a last minute appeal to SCOTUS last Friday to avoid going to jail. I'm hoping SCOTUS will reject. What do you think? <laughs> they're not gonna. They're, they're I don't think they'll touch, touch it. it. No, I'm not gonna touch it. Sorry, this guy named Bubba wants to know you, Peter. Um, user, how will the 45th be held accountable if we don't see him in prison? So many of us do want to see him locked up, including me. Thank you both. He, I don't ever see him locked up. I'm so sorry, you guys. I see him locked up under glass. Never mind. Well, and he may go in a hospital, you know. But do you nice see how many cars and how often he goes everywhere? And we are paying for that secret service and all the all those mm -hmm. cars and stuff. I know. It's disgusting. When he was president, he golfed every weekend. He did this and that. And they also weekend. charged the United States for the security guards. To have to rent the golf carts from, yes. and then they have to rent the rooms from, you know, the various places. Mar -Lago. and they had to, um, they had to, um, they he made money hand over foot. Mm -hmm. They charged, I think, ten dollars for a bottle of water. What's the million cost? <laughs> yeah. So here's a good question from okay. Nancy. After surviving the attack on her private life and professional reputation that achieved a months long delay of the Rico case, will Fanny go on to triumph with the Georgia cases? Big time. Yes. And you know, I even feel that judge kind of giving her a little bit of a tough time. He won't show any kind of, he doesn't want to show that he's improper. Mm -hmm. Like he's, because they're watching him like a hawk. You gave her, you know. He's also a newer judge. I mean, he hasn't been around for a long time. I also feel like he's not going to run again. She, if she runs, she'll win, but I don't see him running. Or he runs and he loses. I don't know. Or he just bows out. I yeah. Because he's, I feel. He's under a lot of pressure. This is more than he ever thought would happen. Yes. With his career. Sudsy McQueen, did the Boeing whistleblower actually commit suicide the other week, or was it a hit job? He it was, was a hit job. I read that the other day. Yeah, I felt that too. It's crazy. And he, he even announced it. He said, "If I die, it's not suicide. It's it's almost like we're living in the Putin regime mm. over here. Why can't they do that to others?" <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, I have a list. I'll send it to whoever needs it. <laughs> Just send me a self-stamped envelope and I'll send you my list. Sue says, who will Trump's VP be? He's auditioning uh, Katie Britt and Nancy Mace and Christy Noem. He he wants everybody to kiss his butt. He'll play that till the cows come home. I don't think he's going to be around to announce one. And I don't because I don't see a vice presidential debate. Yeah, but I think he plays people to make them think oh. that they're going to do it. Well, he's been playing MTG, you know. Yeah. But I was muttering under her breath. He's probably, she's not attractive enough. 
Yeah. But. Because that's how he plays it, you know. Oh, yeah. Well, it's dangling. I always thought he told the news the other day, but he's such a liar that he already found his VP. Are they cloned him? <laughs> well, it, and and I don't know how Ben Carson's name came up. Oh, that's been that's been around before. But you know, Ben Carson is would do exactly what he says. There's nothing to Ben Carson. That's what he wants. He doesn't want anybody that would fight him. He wants a yes man. Yeah. And I love the fact that Pence is saying he won't endorse him. Um, Wiggy, will the courts be able to locate and seize Trump's offshore money? I suspect his properties are mortgaged to the max. He owes so much money to so many people. I see them getting a hold of those th there, too. I have a feeling they already know where they are. They're just waiting. Yeah, TikTok. <laughs> like you say. TikTok. Well, that was regarding Putin's death. But I, I still see after April 1st, there's something. I keep on getting my guides. Starting April 1st, Putin starts either declining, disappearing, all that kind of good stuff. And eventually, I don't see him around at the end of the year. So... That's what I'm just saying what yeah. I'm saying. Entertainment. Program. Either that or he takes off to a different country. Well, I've always said, you know, he has that little train of his. And I always say my favorite movie is the o Murder on the Orient Express. <laughs> Where's Lauren Bacall when you need her? Yeah, there you go. Um, Let's see here. Hey, this is from Laura Wright. Hey, you two. I am concerned about Fonny. Brian Kemp just signed a law that says that he can create a commission with no oversight that can remove rogue left-wing prosecutors, and Fanny is facing a primary soon, and now the Georgia Senate is investigating her. Well, Trump... Yeah, but it's all uh, politically, and, and let me tell you, she'll take it to the Supreme Court, and they'll lose. Well, the thing is, though, she was I, voted in. She wasn't just put in. She was voted in. But the other thing is, though, remember when they came out with that one thing and Brian Kemp wouldn't agree with it? Yeah. So I'm not seeing what he would oust her in any way, shape or form. I think he's doing that to appease, appease. people. Yeah. yeah. Do you have any questions? No, but I think Fan I think Fanny's going to do a real good job on this. What do you think? Killer. I mean, she's. Beyond, beyond cross the T's and dot the I's, you know, yeah. she's, she's going to have the visuals for the. But the, she'll the, really the, mind her manners too, by the way. Oh, yeah. I don't see her coming in with attitude. Mm -mm. And I don't blame her for going in there and being pissy. Well, when they when they had her on on the stand and asking like those personal questions, it's like none of your business. You, you yeah, know. but they, they were just so crude. And but that's how Trump roll, rolls. That's who he is. But yeah. somebody said, and it's really, really, okay, so you got this woman for going Dutch with her, a guy she works with and having an affair. Now do um, Justice Thomas. Right. You know, improprieties. Hello. And he said she was rather unprofessional, the judge did. I tell you, the whole time he was up there letting those, these other people talk, he did this to appease them. He did not... Well, if he had no, said he wasn't going to hear it, there'd be protests in the street. So it's yeah. like, damn if you do, damn if you don't. But I love this one. Let's send Fanny some campaign money to help her fight and slay the Republican dragons. I think when the time comes up, there's going to be a lot. I'll send change over to her, too. Mm -hmm. I, I, I really want her to win. But I even see outside people building up her finances. Oh, yeah. From other states and everything. Yeah. Yeah, but she, Georgia, Georgia, according to the guy with the khaki pants, Steve Kornacki, Steve, yeah, he was looking at he was looking at um, the numbers in Georgia. He said, "Oh, uh oh, if this is how it's going to go for Trump, he'll lose Georgia because even though um, uh, what's the the woman that was running." What's her name? I just went blank. 
It's not Anita. What's the name of the woman that's running, was running against Trump? Hillary. No, she kept losing. It, she just came out before the big primaries. Nikki Haley. Nikki Haley. Yeah, the people who were for Nikki Haley, even though she wasn't in the primary, still voted for her anyway. Mm -hmm. That's why I say, I, I've been predicting, for whatever it's worth, that if Trump were not to be around for whatever reason, that they would turn to her because at least she has delegates that voted for her. There you go. And there she'd be on the ticket. Not very successfully, but she'd be on the ticket. Right. I'm all out of questions. Really? Yeah. I think I had like 32. Um, did BB turn a blind eye to the advanced warnings about the incoming Hamas attack? Because Absolutely. Really wanted an excuse for genocide of the Palestinians. He used, an, he used that as an excuse. But still, that Hamas, the things they did, and they actually had the, the the books from Putin telling them what to do. And where to stand and what to do. Yeah. It's, yeah. So it's horrible. Now, this one is from Peppermint Candy. I love her name. Young transgender student in Oklahoma next. Ben yeah, I saw that. Died about 24 hours after being beaten by bullies. The medical examiner has ruled the death a suicide. Is that accurate? That's not accurate. I no. read on that the other day. He what was I thought accurate. was the family's going to have their own private autopsy. Yes, and they'll sue them. Let me tell you the win, too. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Chris Piazza. Uh, Eileen Cannon ruling on Trump's second motions for dismissal of the documents case. One motion she denied, but she put off ruling on the other motion in a vague to the vague future. If the trial starts, Trump's legal team can raise the same issue again, and it goes on and on and on. Uh, Cannon is clearly being advised as to their strategy. Who's advising her, and how will this resolve? The the people from the Federalist Society. Yeah, will Trump get away with this? No. I no, but I don't know if he lives long enough for this all to. I see a, a commission report from Congress, and I see her in trouble for the things she did that she was holding them up. You know, her husband is a big mob guy. And Trump, he, I saw a text message. This is not too long ago, but I was telling everybody he's told her the minute I get an opening, when you're, I get president, you're a justice. Good. Yeah. Well, the other thing is, though, I never saw her finishing. I always saw her being recused. Mm -hmm. And she never, you know, and then the new judge just comes over. No nonsense. OK, let's get this done, people. That's what I'm feeling, too. And also, trust me, Jack Smith is working on this behind closed door, but he's working on this. Oh, yeah. So we've got the delay in uh, the Stormy Daniels case only by 30 days. I still see him going down on that. Still going forward. I still see the Fonnie Willis thing happening. Originally, it was supposed to be August 25th they were going to start. I still see something around that. I don't see it really being delayed. And Because uh, I feel they got all their paperwork done, but Trump's team will try to delay, delay, delay. They can try. That doesn't mean it's going to happen. Yeah. And then I feel even if they the Supreme Court were not to announce the immunity for uh, for Trump until the end of June when the session's over, they still have enough time to get the ball rolling. Yeah, I see them waiting for sure, but they definitely will say he's not immune. They I keep on getting the end of May on that one. Yeah, I yeah. picked up May. Yeah, you did? Okay. Yeah. But I also see, like I see before um, the election that cases are done, he's found guilty, and it is what it is. Yeah. Yeah. And but a lot of stuff is coming out. Even when Putin goes down. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll, we're going to find out a lot of stuff. You know, and some of these hits I got years ago. Yeah. Years ago. But um, my guys were just downloading me, telling me that this touche would pass and that this guy was going to have a come up, come up with. 
Mm -hmm. he, he will pay, but he's definitely going into Alzheimer's. Yeah, I mean, I had I was buying some Swiss cheese last night, and I was thinking, ooh, Trump. But uh, but you know, he's got what his dad had and his mom has. He's in the beginning stages, and he knows it. Yeah, but there's only so much you can hide. I mean, this emperor's new clothes, the way they treat him compared to Biden, is just insane. So let's get down real, because unfortunately, I have to we're, go. We're get, I know we got we got to. But let's get okay. down to the real nitty gritty. On him not being able to come up with that bond. Oh, I don't What's see. What's the next step come March 25th? You haven't heard about this? Well, March, oh, yeah. March 25th is, was originally the date for the uh, Stormy Daniels case. Oh, what? what? No, this, sorry. He's got until the 25th of this month to pay his 400, oh, 400, 400 million. I don't see it happening. I don't see Chubb coming in and, and saving him like they did with the 91 million. No, but he announced to the judge today, sir, I can't come up with the bond in New York. So that means he can't. And so pay. that's when, remember, Letitia James said, he don't pay by this date. I'm going to start taking properties. Yeah, and I see that. Yeah, but it's so funny because he's so rich. I'm just, I have billions. I don't need the money. And then he has to tell the judge he don't have the money. And no one will bond him? No. No. I, you know, the smoke and mirrors, the smoke is starting to fade away. The mirrors are cracking. And we're starting to see the man who he really is, even though we've already known. But now... The we folk that denied it are starting to see it as well. Right. Exactly. And it's a like you said, one I feel in about four years from now, people are gonna really be horrified when they realize what fragile guardrails keep this country together. Oh, I know. I mean it's and the how he lied to people and 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 it's like they drank the Kool-Aid. It's just amazing. And I've read for so many people whose families have been disengaged with their with their loved ones because of Trump. Well, you're talking to one right now. Yeah. My, my brother told me that I was the um, black sheep of the family. I said, no, I'm the white sheep of the family. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love it, girl. That's so yeah. funny. So. Okay. So do we have an exciting week coming up? Um, I'm doing Mel tomorrow. Oh, good. Yeah, for he's our, coming in today. For our Aloha Tuesday. Okay. Then I'm doing Val and then something on Monday. Uh, it, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about the nation. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so used to like when I do these private shows, people Enough ask, about you. It's not about me. It's about you. No, no. I want to know because sometimes like even. With, what I'm getting the hit is for everyone just to calm down. I really feel this yeah, yeah. coming out that. First of all, I hate to say, I agree with what you said about Netanyahu. There's something tragic coming up yeah. that's really going to turn everybody off on this man and just yeah. say, okay, that's He's gonna it. going to do something stupid. Although they hit that hospital today, apparently they got the big wig from Hamas. They killed him. Let's hope. What they're saying. But I'm just saying that the thing is, Trump is going to be pumping up the volume, pumping up the volume. And the more he does, the more you have to just go consider the source and relax. Because everything he says he lies about. I was voted the most votes of any other president ever. No, no, no. He's never won the pop. No Republicans won the popular vote. No. Except maybe um, Roosevelt. All right, honey. Well, I got to drive out to Benicia. Well, listen, just have fun. You can't. You're the great storyteller. No, but when you do these book readings, you're the storyteller. Tell your story. Tell it. To, people are like, I can't wait to to get the audio. But you know, if I'm reading a book, it's going to knock everybody out. No, not really. No, no, no. Because because <laughs> you're a storyteller, and that's what you. <laughs> yeah. And but, thing, I don't think you realize you're writing. You know, there's a certain way you write comedy. Yeah, and it's a, it, it's, it's you can't it's not be, you can't teach it. Yeah, 
And your timing on your writing is brilliant. Oh, thank you, my friend. I it's think, perfect. Because I'm not a writer. I'm not good with Well, you. I never said I was a writer either, but I get paid for it. So, hey. There you go. There but you no, go. the thing is, you just, you're, don't ever put, you, it's like talking to a client. Don't put yourself down. Don't put yourself down. You're brilliant. Thank you, honey. I love you. I love you too. Until next Bye, time. Bye, everyone. Bye.